Merry Christmas to all of you. Yes, today is December 25th, and the whole world is celebrating Christmas. In most Western countries, especially in the USA, we start our Christmas preparations soon after Thanksgiving. Christmas is a busy season. Streets and stores are filled with people making last-minute preparations. People spend a lot of money buying gifts for loved ones, decorating houses and streets with Christmas trees, ornaments and lights, and arranging parties. Yes, the whole world comes to life with music, lights, and festive decorations. But in the midst of this joyous celebration, I have to say that even though the whole world celebrates Christmas, majority does not know the real meaning of Christmas. They celebrate without having Jesus in their heart. Surprisingly, Santa Claus is given more importance than Jesus by many people. The true meaning of Christmas is often lost in a secular world of consumerism, commercialism, and materialism. The real meaning is simple yet profound. The Gospel story in Luke tells us about the message. In Luke chapter 2 verses 10 and 11, it says, The angel appeared to them and said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior is born to you. He is Christ, the Lord. For first, God, through angels, God wanted us to know that Christmas is a great joy to all people. It is a message of our Savior, Jesus Christ's birth. When Adam sinned, the sin entered into mankind's nature and spread into the offspring of all people. God had to do something to reverse the separation of sin that took place in mankind. But God, God knew the world needed a Savior to save them from the sin. Um, from the penalty of their sins. He sent Jesus to be the final sacrifice for our salvation. If John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He sent His one only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So Christmas is a great joy to all people. Secondly, Christ Christmas is a message of fear not or do not be afraid. The angels are pointing to Christ's birth as a message of salvation. Romans 8 verse 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There's a beautiful song that quotes this verse. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus will set you free, yes it will, from the law of sin and death. Oh, there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. All of our sins have fallen on Christ and we are set free from the law of sin and death. Even if we're going through any problems in our life, follow any religion or we belong to any parts of this world, if you are listening to this message, I want you to open your heart and ask Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. Psalms 32 verse 5, David says, I acknowledge my sin to you and my iniquity have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. According to D.L. Moody, man is born with his back toward God. When he truly repents, he turns right around and faces God. Repentance is a change of mind. We may be broken, or life may be on repair, and everything looks so dark and hopeless. But our God is a God of restoration. If we truly repent, he will forgive our sins and give us an eternal life. We will have great joy and peace, and this is the greatest message of Christmas. Lastly, Christmas is a message of obedience and sharing. When the shepherds heard this good news, they were obedient to God's word. They did not buy any costly gifts, rather they left all their belongings and hurried to Bethlehem to see the gift of God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And after they saw him and worshipped him, they had a great change in their life, but it was not an external change. It was an internal. God gave them a new heart and put a new spirit in them. 
the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the new things they had heard and seen. They shared and spread the word about Jesus to everyone they met. I think they were the first missionaries, and the Bible says, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Christmas reminds us that all who have Jesus as Savior must share the same message with everyone they meet. In this Christmas day, I want to tell you that God gave us not just a baby in a manger. He gave us the wonderful counselor, mighty God, eternal Father, and the Prince of Peace. If you confess Jesus as Savior, Christ and Lord, if you, if you believe that Jesus died on the cross and for our sins and rose on the third day, this kingdom is offered to you. Christmas, the message of Christmas is not just sentimental, but a profound message of salvation through Christ. The King has come. The question is, more than all the external celebrations, are you ready to acknowledge His Royal Majesty, bow before Him, confess your sins, and receive eternal life? May God bless you in the coming days and in the new year. And once again, Merry Christmas to all of you.